Life without you been feeling kinda strange Well I see that you doing very well Ha, you looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell I miss the way that you blowed up my line Just to make sure that I'm feeling well You looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell Hello you guys, it's Christine Marie Back with another video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, then you might as well subscribe simply because me and my K babies are lit and we lit because you're really like that. Period. And if you subscribe, you can most definitely be lit too. That's it, that's all, and that's just that. Period. And if y'all hear them squeaking, I'm warning y'all right now. Every time I record, they want to squeak. If you hear them squeaking, please, please, please disregard that. Okay, y'all. So I have class at like 140. So I was like, let me do a story time for y'all period okay so as y'all can tell by my thumbnail this is gonna be kind of like a sad story um so it's a story time about how or when i got cheated on you know because why not okay so we're just gonna say dude and then girl number one and then girl number two okay okay Okay, y'all, so my sophomore year of college, this, oh, Lord, I'm all right. okay, so my sophomore year of college, this dude wanted to talk to me. Yes, um, he was a little younger than me, and I was that type of female where I did not want to talk to anybody younger than me, because I just feel like younger people did not know what they want. I felt like when dating an older person, they they were gonna know what they wanted. They weren't gonna play games, but y'all, do not let age fool y'all. You could be younger, older, in the middle, doesn't matter. People go, people are still gonna play games regardless. Cause I know people that's grown as heck in their thirties, still playing games, in their forties, still playing games. Mind y'all, I'm 22. I don't even know why I brought up my age. Like, what, what's that? Yeah, people my age still playing games. Like, I understand like, you know, people want to explore their options. Out of there. But I just like you shouldn't play games with nobody. Especially if you don't know what you want. Period. Like, let that be made known in the beginning of the relationship. <clears throat> so, anyways. Dude wanted to talk to me my freshman year of college. Like, he kept trying, kept trying. But I was like, nah, nah. Like, I'm not with that. Because, like, I just don't normally date anybody younger than me. So, he kept trying up until my sophomore year. I was like, man, should I give this person a chance, y'all? What what I did, give that person a chance. Everything was cool. Everything was cool in the beginning, you know. Everything was real cool. Um, In the relationship, like, with me, sometimes I'll tell my parents who I'm talking to, and sometimes I don't. It just depends, like, if I get far with that person, like, it's pretty, you know, deep in, that's okay. You can meet my parents. T to me, that's just a me thing. I feel like if the relationship is not progressing or not where it needs to be, why are you meeting my parents? I feel like maybe once you feel like it's secure, you should go into a relationship feeling like it's secure. But it's like sometimes you just, things happen, you know? So I had some mom and dad about it. Um, they wasn't too thrilled, but you know, me being a sophomore in college, I felt like I was grown. I knew enough. I knew what I was doing. Like, want what y'all had to say. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless or date who I want to date regardless. <sighs> Anyways, we still talk. We dated. Um, I don't know. Like, you know when you, it's signs in a relationship, but it's like you don't want to acknowledge it. Okay, so I, we went to the, me and dude went to the mall. I already knew about his ex, which is girl number one. Um, we went to the mall and we seen Shorty in the mall. And I guess she was pissed. Like, she was mad. You know, I'm sitting there chilly, you know, posted up. Cause, like, don't try nothing with me. Please don't. Cause I'm not the one. Like, I'm quiet. I'm humble. I sit back and I'm chill. But don't, don't ever feel like you can play with me like that. Cause I'm not the one. And I make that, I don't make that known, but it's like, if you try me, then you're going to find that out about me. Like, I'm the most humblest, sweetest person ever because that's how I was raised. But do not play with me like that because, no, you don't want no problems. Anyways, <clears throat> she was mad just saying, like, why are you with her at the mall, blah, 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 and that. So, automatically, me and him, nothing was established. 
we were just chilling at the mall. And then his little sister and little brother came. So I really wasn't tripping off that. So yeah, she was mad, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm chilling, you know, I'm just listening. Mm, okay, take notes, take notes. That was, that should have been a sign, but it's like, it wasn't because we weren't together. We were just chilling. I wasn't, he didn't even ask me to be his girlfriend yet. So, you know, we get back in the car. He trying to explain himself. You know me, I'm just like, okay. Like, I'm chill. Like, there was no, nothing has been established. Like, I mean, unless y'all still got something going on, then, you know, then he knows so I can back up. But he made it seem like, okay, nothing was going on. <sighs> okay, so as the relationship goes on and goes on, he came over here. My friend saw him, I guess, delete some stuff out of his phone. I guess you could say. But, you know, he kept denying it. But see me, I'm not stupid. I was just like, okay, like, why are you deleting stuff out your phone? I just feel like that was very suspicious. And then, like, some other stuff that happened. Like, he got into this wreck, and he kind of blamed me for it because he was texting and driving. But it's like, I already had made known to I had already made notes to him, like, do not text and drive. Don't text and drive. But he kind of blamed me for that. And he got, like, really distant. So, it's whatever. Um, You know, like, when you get in a relationship and then people try to use, I guess, kind of, like, sweet words and be like, oh, we forever. You ain't going nowhere. We're this. We're that. Like... He used to say stuff like that. You know me, I'm kind of like chill. At first, now I'm not even going to lie to y'all, I did not trust him. <clears throat> I did not trust him. <laughs> but then again, I feel like as the relationship was progressing, he was showing me that I could trust him. Then he started doing some grimy stuff. And it was just crazy. So then, y'all, this this is where the tea happens. Okay, so sometimes we would post, I would post him, okay. He posted me on Snapchat one time. Usually, I don't trip over stuff like that. But I feel like if you're not, if you together, I feel like if you're together with someone and you're not posting them, I feel like that's very weird. Now, I feel like it's weird. I understand, like, you know, some people, they don't use social media like that, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, if that's your girl, why are you not showing her off? Not, why are you not posting her every now and then? You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't trip over stuff like that, but it's like now, I don't believe that, oh, I don't be on social media, like, blah, 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 blah. to me, that's just, that's cap, honestly. Oh, these girls getting on my nerves. Okay, I honestly feel like that's cap. Okay, so, I posted him on my snap. Girl number one, I don't know how she added me on snap, but Shorty added me. Y'all, let me get closer. Shorty messaged me, basically calling me a hoe, calling me a monkey, that that's in it. So, off the bat, I, let, I told her, I said, I'm not going back and forth with you. I said, that's dead. I don't do that going back and forth. I said, if you want to talk with your hands, then you can do that. Y'all remind let me let me remind y'all fighting is not always answer i don't fight over no dude don't fight over no female i don't do any of that it's the fact that once you disrespect me then that's different then, then what's up period like what's up don't disrespect me that's just me don't come out your mouth calling me no biatch don't come out your mouth calling me no hoe because i'm not that don't call me out my name and don't be disrespectful Gave Shorty my address. She never pulled up. Gave her the address. She never pulled up. I was ready. I was really ready. Don't put on, don't put on the goddamn tights, tennis shoes, t-shirt, all of that. I was really ready because don't, don't come out your mind at me like that. She never pulled up. And it, like low key, now that I realize, it's like he was taking a, a thrill out of that. I didn't realize it until later. Like, he kept saying, like, you good, you good, like, da, da, da. You just, you know, just reassuring things, but, like, whatever. Like, why this, why this chick coming at me like that? Like, because I, because I took your nigga. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, so. This is how I found out he was cheating. 
like i just had a weird day you know how like sometimes you have them intuition feelings i felt that I don't know, I just feel like something was just weird. I woke up feeling weird that day. Okay, so he posted a picture on Instagram. So, you know, me being a girlfriend, what I do? I, I commented under the picture, the heart eyes. You know, something told me to go back and check the picture. I went back and checked the picture and my comment is deleted. So I knew that was a little weird. But I knew at one time, girl number one had all his social medias and stuff like that. So I thought Shorty was being petty right i thought she was real life being petty so i texted him i was like man you better you better get her because why is she deleting my stuff and you know he's telling me like that she probably deleting it i don't know why guys and i said you need to check her tell her to stop doing that or you need to change your social media passwords blah 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 so i comment a second time something said go back and check it was that night now something said go back and check comment was deleted i commented the third time and i said i'm gonna go to sleep and if i go to sleep and this comment is deleted i know something and as i commented the third time i seen these other two girls commented as well so i'm like why y'all you know in my head i'm like why y'all commenting on, under my nigga picture so i definitely like their comments when i woke up the next morning i don't know i still felt kind of weird like something right so one of the girls that I, one of the girls <laughs> whose comment that I liked, they added me on Instagram. So I'm like, hmm, I feel like something about to happen. I don't know. I was just like, I feel like something's about to happen. So y'all. I added a girl back and a message pops up. She was like, do you talk to dude? Girl number two is like, do you talk to dude? I'm like, yeah, wow, what's up? I'm like, man, this nigga cheated. He talking to this girl during the time he was being so-called distant. So, what happened? Mm, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, she was like, they talking, da da this and that. She was like, the shirt he got on in this picture. I helped him pick out. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. I, I sat there for a second, just kind of stuck. Because I was like, but you were supposed to, oh, okay. And that second, I was just, I was in a state of shock. I was mad. So we sent each other screenshots. I was like, well, he was just with me when he had on that shirt. So we send each other pictures and screenshots. In reality, he told her he broke up with me. So basically, yeah, the nigga, dude was cheating basically. Trying to run game but got caught up. I sent him the messages. Like, what's this? Like, what's up? Like, something you tell me. And basically, he just made up a bunch of excuses saying that I was trying to trap him. Da da da. And just coming out of the mouth disrespectful. And I should have been the one that was disrespectful. I was low key disrespectful, high key disrespectful. I just didn't understand, like, why you coming at me disrespectful when you cheated? But you know, I didn't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I cried. I cried. I was very upset. I was very upset about that for a couple of months. Like, that jump really had hurt me. Because, like, every relationship that I have been in, I have been hurt. Every. That's why I'm just convinced. I'm convinced. I'm supposed to be alone. Because, baby, I don't, ha I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm 22 years old. I don't have time for games. I don't have time for playing with me. But of course, I was a whole lot younger back then. That was like 2018, 17, 18. Because we broke up in 2018, March 3rd. I actually remember that because that day was so horrific. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just so angry. I just felt so stupid. Cause I didn't see the signs. And then again, my mom and dad didn't even think I should have had talked to him. But of course I didn't listen. I was being hard headed, thinking I knew everything. And ended up having a heartbreak and some other stuff. But 
yeah like it was it was very bad i would never wish that on my worst enemy period but at the end of the day y'all life is crazy like <laughs> i did not expect to get you guys and still to this day dude still be trying to come back and it's like nah dude you done mess that up and then like the next relationship he got into the girl broke his heart so you know you always end up reaping what you sow that's why you got to be careful of how you treat people you don't know what type of relationship people got with god you don't know you don't know. you just don't know you just got to be careful god don't play about his kids god don't play period you gonna reap what you sow or like people like to say karma you got to be careful how you treat how you want to be treated y'all this is it for this story time y'all it was it was so sad but it's okay because i learned a valuable lesson from it um if you guys want more story times comment down below and let me know if y'all want more story times or not comment down below what type of content y'all want to see period but this is all for this video like i like to say make sure you subscribe like comment share all of that and y'all already know my motto stay lifted encouraged always don't let nobody ruin your day because if they ruin your day i'm about to beat them up they don't want them problems <laughs> but love you k babies blow up my line just to make sure that i'm feeling well i miss the way that you look in my eyes and that's why i'm getting back with you girl keep on talking about my